Hey guys, I've got some de-stashing to do today. Um, uh, my PayPal account is way too low, so I'm going to uh, pass on some goodness to you guys, and um, let's get started. Um, the first lot, I've got some charms. This says lovable. This says smarty cat. Um, these are some sunglasses. One, one, two, three, four. Um, here are some charms with some stars. One, two, three. Um, I guess there's just three in there. Um, here's a some fish bones, some anchors. This little. I guess it's a butterfly, a little cow, a monkey, another smarty cat, here's one that says best friend, this one says precious. Um, a couple of little frames and a little frog and then I've got two of these and they're rings and you can take the ring off and use it as a bling center there we go um, this is also a ring make a great bling center or you can put it in a configuration box just like a ring. Uh, this is also a ring and this one and then I have this large charm and it's got a hook at the top and at the bottom so you could use that in a big big chunky charm and then this star. Okay, also with that lot, um, I'm sending this um, gold bling. I've got this bling, this bling, and this bling. So quite a bit of stuff in that lot. And I'm going to say, let's see how much these are. Um, eighteen dollars shipped. So eighteen dollars for all this, and I bet you this bling alone right here was eighteen dollars. So eighteen dollars shipped. And there you go. Okay, my next lot. I've said that's lot number one. Lot number two. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot this little this little puppy that goes with that one. Okay, I've got a butterfly bee stash, and I've got all of these from Recollections. I did cut the package open. I used a couple, but you can see how many are in there. And I cut this package, but only so it would fit in the drawer, but I don't use a lot of red, so I'm going to go ahead and let these um, Recollection butterflies go. I have this large. You can see how big that is. Um, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. So that large one, got a couple of random black and white ones, and then these are kind of like, I don't know how to describe them other than they're sort of like a feather. This one's just a teensy bit messed up here, but you could put some bling or something on it, decorate it up, but um, I've got quite a few colors. And I've got a couple of, oh, here's some more of those. Another blue one and a green one. And then I've got a couple of white ones. And a gold one. And then I've got two of these recollection butterflies. I've got 
these kind of vintagey looking ones. I've got these um, dragonflies, brand new. Um, this was one in my stash, and this is acrylic. And then these are all, um, you guys have seen all of these style butterflies, and I've got two of those gold ones. I've got one, two, three of the whites. Two are larger, one is a little smaller. And then I've got this pack, which has a white, some fuchsia, a black, and a pink. So um, that stash will be the butterfly stash, and I'm thinking um, $8 shipped. So that's the butterflies, $8 shipped. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of paper. Um, this is my paper stack, and I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of them are heavily used. Some of them are singles. Um, some of them haven't been used very much at all. So I'm going to try to go quick. These are some Magnolia papers. I'm going to include these, um, mm, what do you call this? Um, you guys know what it is. Anyway, I'm going to include these. I've got these vintage notes. I used a few pages out of that. Not heavily used. Um, I've got this Authentique, which I used, um, you know, I used some out of there. Uh, sorry guys, it's hard to, that one's butterflies. So there's that one. Um, this is, oh, I forget, London Market, and I liked a few sheets out of this, but not so much the rest, and a lot of people like London Market. That is most of the pack, um, that was there. I took out maybe four sheets. Um, this is the romance novel, and it's, most of it is there. I've only, only you I only made one card. Most of that's there. Um, this one also from my mind's eye, most of it is there. I used, I made one card out of this. And this has all this wood looking um, papers in it. So. Sorry. So there's that one. Um, this is the Prima Optimist, and I did use some of this, but not very much. It's a, a black um, paper, kind of like that new stuff Recollections came out with to use for their um, chalkboard stuff. So most of that one is there. Um, this is the Prima Almanac. I think I used one sheet out of this. I should, you know, I bought it because everybody had it, but it's just not not my particular style of um, papers. But I've seen beautiful creations with it. I'm just not able to create with these colors. They're just not in my my color palette. Okay, so um, the metal arc I did use um, all the ones that have the like the light pinks, but all the other papers are still there. All the bird papers. So that's that one. Here's the Kaiser Craft confetti. I did make some cards with these. Um, most of the punch outs are still 
intact. Yep. Let's. And I did use some sheets out of this one, um, but I'm not a big chevron person, so there's a lot still left. Um, okay, I'm getting down to these stacks that have very, you know, very little left in them. Um, Kaiser Craft, Violet Crush, um, but there are a lot of nice punch outs and sentiments still, um, still there. And there's some black purple, some butterfly, that gold foil one, some more black, and these beautiful butterflies. So then I have a little bit of the little primrose Kaiser Craft. And I think this would be a really cool um, lot for someone who's new and um, just getting into card making or scrapbooking, um, you can cut these apart and use them in a lot of different types of projects. So there's that, and that comes with this um, stack of ephemera. And there's all kinds of, there's like little girls, there's sentiments, there's flower cutouts, there's a teapot and a horse. So and that ephemera pack goes with that. This is the, uh, the Bonjour uh, ephemera pack, and I'm including that. Um, some Kaiser Craft True Romance papers. Um, a lot of the sentiments are still intact and then a lot of the papers are are still here. I did use probably about half of this stack. So and there's some more punch outs. I think I combined a couple of um, pads in with this. Um, the Kaiser Craft Lake House collection. There are still a lot of the punch outs here and some of the papers, but this is also a used stack. Um, now, this is the Annabelle's Meadow paper pack and Annabelle, Annabelle's Garden. Um, these are Wild Rose Studio, and they're really cute. Um, there's a lot of butterflies. And then there's these real cute bunnies and pots. And then this green pattern. And then in the back is this one. So that's Annabelle's Meadow. And then Annabelle's Garden. There is this one. Look how look how stinking cute that is. A couple sheets of that. There's that one. Those cute little birdies with the banners. I'm not focusing. There's these little sheep in the meadow. And then that. And that. So that is Annabelle's garden. And then I have this Go Paris. Um, I actually think I had three stacks of this and I, sorry about that guys. Um, okay, so this last pack 
is the Go Paris, um, and it's from Best Creations. So I've got some pieces that I put in there in case somebody wants to use those. Um, there's quite a bit in here. These are punch outs. And see that punches out of that one. Punch out little tags, tags. Um, so quite a bit in here. There's two sheets of that. There's that. And I really loved this paper, and I used, um, I, I probably had four or five pads of this. So this is what's left, and that's quite a nice little collection. That's, that's a good one. So, um, I'm going to say on this lot... Uh, $25 shipped. Well, I'm not sure what's this box. I'm going to have to put it in. So, that whole stack, all the ephemera, $25 shipped. Okay. Now, I'm going to go on to a 12 by 12 lot. And I'm thinking this is going to fit in a priority box so it's going to be about ten dollars to ship it so there are two sheets of this um this is the pack um it's the same as oh where is it it's the same as this one uh the confetti but it's the large um, and these have got a lot of sentiments. Um, I have an ephemera pack included, and there's about one. Well, I'm going to pull it out and show you because it's not fair if I don't show you. So I used a couple of the sentiments. There's this page, and it's double-sided, so there's these sentiments, and it's double-sided, polka dots, and the other side, another polka dots, the, those flowers, and a wood grain, these pink flowers, and pink chevrons. And then there's two sheets of those chevrons and then diamonds on the other side. And then I had a piece of this left over that I'm including. So that is the confetti. And I'm sorry to take the time to put it away, but this is, it's going to be crazy if I don't, if I don't do it now. Apologize for taking a second for that. Um, I've got a couple of sheets of the Prima Optimist uh, 12 by 12. That's got that on the back. And then two sheets of this that have that on the back. Um, I've got this DCWV Christmas Memories stack, and I barely used anything out of this stack barely anything. So let's go through this. I don't know if any of these are your colors. They're kind of a vintage -y Christmas print. I actually don't know if those, yeah, those snowflakes are from in there. Okay. 
So there's that stack. Um, I've got this. This is a Kaiser Craft Enchanted Garden sticker sheet. So a bunch of goodies there. A couple of sheets of cardstock. There's some apples and watermelon. Some red cardstock. Uh, about five sheets of that. Here is some colored cardstock, neon bright colors. And these two. Then there's like five sheets of those. Some plaid. Some more plaid. Here is a sentiment sheet you can cut up for fall. And some cupcakes. And some food. Let's see. Here's a flag. Some pirates. This here. Um, oh, this is a pack of stuff I haven't even opened. So let's go through this. Um, there's that. that. There's three sheets of that. This one. This one. That one. some little bunnies and then we're going on to some animal prints there's some monkeys in there there's leopard zebra pink zebra there's some um, graduation stuff okay let's see here is some some Disney princess stuff. I think that's supposed to be Snow White. Sweet princess. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to keep that one. This one says Secret Heart. Cinderella. That one. There's some cupcakes. This one. Carnival tickets. That one. Prom night. Here's some some stripes. Some water. Some dots. These are some black and white patterns. There are some cookies and mixing bowls there. Um, a couple more different monkey patterns. Some 
some more of these circles. And, oh gosh, I don't know how many pages of circles there are here. A whole bunch of circles. And that one. So, um, I'll be honest with you guys, I have a lot, a lot of paper to de -stash. And um, I think that's as much as will fit in um, one priority, large priority box. And it costs $10 to ship it, so honestly, I just want to move this stuff, so I'm going to ask $25 shipped for all of that paper. And so I'm getting 15 for the paper and 10 of it is for shipping. Um, then lastly, I have some stamps from Lily of the Valley. They came in these little things. And back in the day, I did not realize that there were such things as a stamp block. So I had my husband mount them all on wood for me. So I have this one and it's a little girl, two little girls in a chair reading a book and you could peel these off and uh, you know mount them differently if you wanted to. This is an angel. This is a little bear carrying packages. This is like a little snow princess. Um, this is like a little fairy and she's sitting in front of a mirror and this is her powder puff. She's in her, um, her little perfume. She's getting ready to go. Uh, this one, I'm going to keep that one. Um, this is a little girl putting a star on top of a Christmas tree. And I'm going to throw in this uh, stamp. It's a Tim Holtz um, Parisian stamp, and I'm going to throw that in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six stamps. Um, I would sell these uh, for $12, $12 shipped. Okay, so that's the stamp lot. So we have the bling charms lot, we have the butterfly lot, we have the 6x6 six six lot, um, we have the 12x12 12 12 lot, we have the stamp lot, and I have one more um, lot for today. And this lot, actually I have two more lots. I'll show you this one first. This is the Prima Princess lot. And I have a 6x6, six six, never been used, with all the princess on them, Let's see. So I've got the 6x6, six six. I've got an A4. I've got an A4 that I used some of, a little bit. I made a banner. So, two A4s, the 6x6, six six, and they're falling out. I've got the the chipboard pieces. This one's never, this one's, none of them have been used. And then this one, um, a few of them have been used, but some of them are just falling out of their slots. So um, that's going to have to go in a large rate shipping box. So that'll be $10 to ship it. And I'd like to get $15 for the actual pads. So two A4s, one of them slightly used, a 6x6 unused, and the uh, chipboard pieces unused, and the chipboard pieces slightly used, 25 shipped. Okay, now my last 
empty stash block is paper. And I'm going to start with the Kaiser Craft Velvet Crush. Um, I did use, that's it right there. I did use, um, use this one. And there are some nice size 12 by 12 papers in there. I want to show you this. Oh, I guess it'd be easier if I kind of pulled it out a little bit. Okay, so there's that large 12 by 12. There's two of this with writing. There's two of this page. I think there's two of that page. This this one, there's two of this page. So there's actually still quite a bit in here. And then these are punch outs or sticker yeah, sticker punch outs. And that is all that hasn't even been used. Okay. And then there's some other little miscellaneous things there in the bottom that I threw in there. Um, this is the stack that I just used, the uh, collage art for my mini album, and um, I'm going to go ahead and let that go. And since I told you I used it on my mini, you know that it is a used paper pad. I really like the paper with writing. And this is the one with the house. And that one's got the heart and the bicycle. This one's got the butterflies and flowers. So there's that one. All right, this is the Primrose, um, DCWV Primrose. And everybody loves this. Um, it's slightly used. I didn't use a lot from it. Um, a lot of you guys really liked this stack. It's just got too much blue in it for me. So this is almost... You can see the sentiments are all there. Um, I did add some scrap pieces I had left over. Um, actually, some of those are from a different stock. So I'm not going to send you guys any junk, but I'm going to go through and anything that goes with this paper pad and this pack of stuff, I'm going to include with it. See, like this, I used that little piece there. And here's some more tags. The rest of this stuff is from, from a different stack. So that primrose stack is almost completely intact. Almost. Okay. The next one is almost completely intact as well, and it's the Kirby Teasdale. So, let's go through this one. It's got a big dress form on it. Kind of vintage looking stack. I had to have this, but you know, my heart's just not into vintage. It's definitely shabby chic. This one's got that cute bicycle. Okay, so my, my hand's getting tired. <laughs> All right, so that one's almost intact there. Um, 
I've got this color block, and this is mostly a black stack. Black and white. got a little bit of the Trish Chic stack and I figured I'd just kind of throw it in in case anybody needed it. Um, it's got this. These two sheets. I did a mini with this so I didn't have a whole lot left. And I do have an Eiffel Tower right there. <laughs> And then one more. Oh, nope, there's two. Here's another black and white from Colorbox. And I did use some from this one. And then lastly is the Chateau Lavender from DCWV, and this is um, kind of lightly used. Okay, sorry guys, um, the last stack again, the Chateau Lavender from DCWV, and it is somewhat uh, slightly used. quite a few pages still intact and beautiful okay so that stack is also um, in a large priority mail so that's going to cost 10 to ship I'd like to get again 25 so that I get 15 for the actual product so there you go um, I need you guys to private message has to be private message because for some reason YouTube scrambles the uh, comments and you don't know which one was first or second or third, you know, and it's a mess. So you must private message me. Um, thanks so much for helping me out and I will get your packages out right away. Thanks. Bye.